Jordan? Is that you? Yeah. Okay. So now back once again for part 1B of who are the Gentiles, okay? And like I stated before, the word Gentile in the Bible just means non-Israelite or non-Jew, or it can mean nation, foreigner, or stranger. Okay, let's get that straight. Now, like I stated before also, you may have the word nation or stranger in the Bible that may refer to Israelites. Okay? But the word Gentile in itself is never referred to as an Israelite in a Gentile state of mind. Never referred to in the scriptures. Okay? And plus, like I said, you look in the Bible concordance, strong concordance, and you will see all the words of the Gentiles, when you look them up, they all mean the same thing. So if the word Gentile in the Bible, if it means Israelite in a Gentile state of mind, then all of them would have to mean Israelite in a Gentile state of mind. Okay? Now, if the word Gentile in the Bible means non-Israelite, non-Jew, a stranger, foreigner, or nation, then all of them would have to mean that. Okay, we're talking about the word Gentile, not nation, but Gentile. And like I said, uh, the word Gentile in the Bible means non-Israelite, non-Jew, okay, or nation, foreigner, or stranger, okay. So now, if anybody can prove the word Gentile in the Bible means uh, an Israelite in a Gentile state of mind in the Bible, then post a video or email me. Or do something. I want to see it. Don't try to twist the scriptures around John 7, 34 and, and 35 to try to make it seem like that this word Gentile means an Israelite in a Gentile state of mind because that's not the case. You just look up that word in the concordance or dictionary. It's going to tell you the word Gentile and John means uh, a non-Jew or non-Israelite or na uh, nations or foreign or a stranger. And some of them, uh, four scriptures in the Bible that use the word Gentile can mean Gentile speaking the Greek language or relating to the Roman Empire or the Greek world. A Gentile that speaks the Greek language or Hellenist. Okay? But all the rest of the Gentile scriptures mean non-Israelite nation, stranger, or foreigner. Okay? Now, go to Psalms chapter 40 and verse 7 and read that. Psalms chapter oh. Psalms chapter 40 and verse 7 okay there's a lot of people what a lot of people do they twist the scriptures on Gentiles to make it fit their doctrine and to try to justify Israel the Mosiah is only going to justify a remnant of Israel okay that's already written so we don't need to justify anything Christ will justify our people and a remnant of the Gentiles. All we have to do is bring out the truth and teach the truth correctly and stop trying to deceive and lie to people and fool them, okay, to prove that the Gentiles were never brought in or partakers of our spiritual things or the covenant or the promises or the Holy Spirit, such as in Acts chapter 10, verses 42 to, 4, to the end. Okay, go ahead. Psalms chapter 40, verse 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in. The volume of the book, it is written of me. Right. Now, David said the Lord comes in the volume of the book. Now, in the Old Testament, they have volumes of books. Okay, from Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers to Malachi, to Isaiah, to uh, Ezekiel, and all the prophets, Obadiah, all these, uh, all these volumes of books and prophets, okay? Now go to Hebrews, okay? Go to Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me to do thy will, O God. Right. Now, Hebrews say the same thing as the Old Testament in Psalm chapter 40 and verse 7. So, in other words, the Lord comes in the volume of the book, not just in Genesis chapter 10 and verse 1 through 5 
to say that the Japhetic people are Gentiles and that the Japhetic people are white people, you got to come in the volume of the book. You got to read precept upon precept, line upon line, here, litter, here, here a little, and there a little. Go to 2 Corinthians 2 and 17. Okay? 2 Corinthians, hold that. Okay? Let me help you out right here. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 17. Now find it, okay? So, relating to Malachi ministries and thy kingdom come and the Israel of God, teaching that the Japhetic people are the only Gentiles, is a lie. You need to study. You need to be retaught. You need to go through the volume of the book, okay? And get the other scriptures that's talking about Gentile and compare them. Compare spiritual things with spiritual things, scripture to scripture. Line upon line. Compare the line upon lines. Okay? Go ahead. For we are... Where are you at? Oh. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 17. Verse 17. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God. Right. We are not as many. We are not as many that corrupt the word of the Most High. You have... A lot of Hebrew Israelite brothers in New York and L.A., these different groups, corrupting the word of the Most High. Number one, concerning the Gentiles, among many of the corruptions they didn't talk in the scriptures. Okay? So they corrupt the word by saying that these Gentiles are actually Israelites in a Gentile state of mind. And that's a lie. Excuse me. Okay, go ahead. But as of sincerity, as of sincerity, as in honesty, go ahead. But as of God, but as of God, the Most High, go ahead. In the sight of God, in the sight of God, go ahead. Speak we in Christ. Speak we in Christ. We don't, we speak in the sight of God. We're not men pleasers. That doctrine of the devil, which is the Gentiles are the Israelites in a Gentile state of mind. That's a doctrine of the devil. You're man pleasing. You're pleasing men. It's, Edomites who wrote that years ago, okay, that said that the Israelites are, uh, that said that the uh, Gentiles are the Israelites in a Gentile state of mind. Israel is a bunch of Edomites that wrote books on that, proving that. Here goes one of them right here, okay, The Mystery of the Gentiles by Ted R. Whelan Evangelist, okay. Here goes one of them right here. These are Edomites that's bringing out these devilish doctrines. Okay, these are devils that's bringing out these devilish doctrines. Okay, because they don't believe in Christ. They're not spiritual. Now, go to, um, what other scripture I told you? First Timothy, Second Timothy, excuse me, chapter 3 and verse 7, right? Okay, go ahead. Second Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 7. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. See, they're ever learning, such as groups like GMS in New York and LA too. they out here too, okay? They're ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth concerning the Gentiles, okay? Because they're off, they're in error in their doctrine and what they're teaching and trying to justify Israel and trying to condemn the nations when the Most High brought them in and many other scriptures we're going to go to a, um, we're going to teach a whole lesson, uh, probably about 10 different lessons or 10, uh, 10 aspects of one lesson on the mystery and salvation of the Gentiles, proving that the Gentiles are partakers of our spiritual things, of the covenants, of the promise, of the Holy Spirit, and of the kingdom of heaven. We're going to prove that, okay? So read that scripture again. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So they're ever learning. Always trying to learn something but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth concerning the Gentiles. How much time? Um, 9.31. Okay. Never able to come to the knowledge of the truth of the Gentiles. You can go and search, research all kind of history books and secular books and Latin, and Greek, and Hebrew, and Roman history, all you want to. The Bible is true. The scriptures are true. The Most High in Christ is true. The, the Holy Spirit is true. You're living in a fantasy world to think that the, Israel, that the Gentiles are Israelites in a Gentile state of mind. 
you're not 